Photo albums are a great way to quickly and easily put together a visual presentation. This technique is used by a lot of realtors when they are preparing kiosk presentations to showcase their sales properties. So your first step is to go to the Insert tab of the ribbon and over in the Images group, click on Photo Albums and from there select New Photo Album. A dialog box will open where you will select your images. At the upper left, click the File Disk button. That brings you to a file directory and I'm going to use the Windows Sample Images. I'll click on the first one, hold down the Shift key, click on the last one so they're all selected. And now I'll click Insert. The images are now listed under Pictures and Albums. You can rearrange your images. For instance, if I want the tulips image to be up at the top, I'll click the box to the left of tulips and now I'll use the up arrow key to move it. I want chrysanthemums to be at the end so I'll uncheck tulips, check on chrysanthemums and use the down arrow key to move it down to the end of the list. The lower portion of the dialog box under Album Layout lets you format your photo album. So first I'll go to Picture Layout and choose the layout I want. You can have multiple images per slide. I'm going to set it to one picture. Frame Shape lets you adjust the framing. I'm going to set it to Simple Frame White. You can select a theme by clicking the Browse button and I'll choose Integral then click the Select button and now to generate my photo album I'll click Create. The photo album has been created as a new file and you'll see all of the images one per slide. You can edit photo albums. To edit a photo album, go back to the Insert tab of the ribbon, click on the Photo Album menu, and choose Edit Photo Album. Captions can be added that will be based on the file names. Over at the left, I'm going to check on Captions Below All Pictures. And now I'll click the Update button. So all of my images are now displaying the file names. You could change those file names if you wanted. You could change any text that you wanted. So for instance, I'll go to my title slide and I'm going to highlight photo album and I'll type in nature photos. Before we preview this as a full screen slideshow, I'll add some transitions. I'll go up to the Transitions tab of the ribbon and I'll select Fade for my transition. Then I'll go over to the Timing group and click Apply to All. And now we'll preview this slideshow. I'll start it from the beginning. Now I'm clicking through this slideshow. In a later lesson, we'll be talking about setting up a slideshow to run automatically. There's some more reading for you to do. Next up, we'll be getting into media, working with audio and video, and then I will be back with another presentation.